think it's fair to say the last couple of games your team haven't got exactly what they've deserved in terms of performances mm -hmm. and some of that is down to the fact that uh, you haven't got the goals that your team's deserved but in recent weeks leading up to that your team was scoring goals for fun and, and do you think that you're going to be taking some inspiration out over the next couple of weeks that when you get it right it comes very well? Yeah, you have to because we, you know, we did our review of the last sort of couple of games, two or three games, and there was a lot of good, good stuff in it. I mean, obviously we had some couple of tough games uh, in the FA Cup with Hampton and Richmond um, and Derby, of course, and even in the Derby game that we lost, there was some good attacking play. Um, uh, obviously, you know, we, we've got to try and get a nil against at some some stage, you know, the, the two we've had were early part of the season. But um, as we always say, we, we, we try and play, we try and create opportunities. And when we see that we've had a lot more opportunities than the opposition, then we know we're doing something, something right. Um, and obviously we have to defend as a team, the same as we attack as a team. So, yeah, we have, we have took a, a lot of encouragement from the, uh, the last couple of games especially, because uh, we did deserve to win or to get a better result in both of them. One team player that seemed to uh, take the game by the scruff of the neck on, on Saturday was Brett McGavin. Now, when you brought him in in the summer, you said that you wanted him to have a slightly different game to the one that was maybe evident at Kings Lynn last season. Um, does it feel that he's now starting to believe he's the player that you believe he is? I hope so. Uh, you know, one summer don't make a swallow, as it were, but he certainly showed more of his ability that he's got uh, last weekend and um, we were pleased with his performance his stats are always decent but um, yeah, we needed him to start creating some key passes and uh, having a couple of shots and he's a good striker of a ball um, and with him it's a confidence thing as well for these, these players but we work with him every day as we do obviously with all of them and um, and he's got some ability, and it's important that he he brings it out, shows everyone what it, what it is that he has got, um, and then stays consistent with that standard. And I'm I'm sure he will. He's, you know, he, he's now found the game that we're looking for from him, and uh, and that can only be be good for us. Trip to Dagenham on Saturday it hasn't been the happiest of hunting rounds for, for goals in, in recent years, but that doesn't really tend to count for anything much these days with all the uh, changing the squads and all that. So mm. it's very much how each team plays in the day, isn't it? It is. Um, you know, they've had a, a good little run, Dagenham. You know, they've had some good results recently. Um, and they're always tough, especially at home. They're very strong at home. And uh, we have to. You know, we have, we've had and will have a good look at them and, um, and you know, we'll pick the team available to us and, uh, and hopefully that we can create probably more chances than, than we had when we played them away last season. Um, and as you say, then it's all on the day. Uh, players have got to turn up, players have got to look forward to it. Uh, I'm sure they will because I think we think our confidence is, is growing a little bit, you know, not only in themselves but in each other and um, you know, actually despite us being bottom of the table at the moment there's, there's quite a lot of optimism from the lads which is, uh, which is very good. Maybe not so much in terms of the result but would you agree that actually you look much more like a Gary Johnson team now than you were at the start of the season? Yeah. Um, it did. We thought that after all the shot, didn't we? And then we had a couple of dodgy games, but um, we know we got it in us. Uh, it's just young lads uh, and the older lads helping them get a consistency in their in their own game, and then we'll get that consistency in our team game. But it, it you know, the stats were unbelievable for a team that lost against Barnet and then drew um, you know, against Gateshead. Um, so. You can't just work on, on stats, but what it tells you is that you've had more play in the dangerous areas than they have in, had in yours. And sometimes that happens. So um, hopefully if we can tuck away a couple more of our opportunities that we're creating, then uh, the team's got to score a few to, 
get ahead of you. And finally, Gaffer, the, uh, earlier than kickoff time on, on Saturday is, uh, um, I guess, it's nothing new for you. You've had quite a few time, games kicking off at different mm. times mm. so far, season with the TV commitments mm. and things. But does that change preparations at all for you? It's nice that you say about the TV commitments. That always means that you're doing quite well. <laughs> that people want to get you on the TV sort of thing. And the Derby game was a, was a great start for us, wasn't it? Oh, well, listen, like me and Downsy, we, we always work out the schedule to make sure that, um, you know, we're going to have to have breakfast earlier. Um, obviously, we go down the night before anyway. It's a fair old, old trip over there. Um, and we'll prepare, but we'll just prepare a few hours earlier. They'll go to bed a couple of hours earlier, um, and we'll just sort of turn the clocks back a bit so that by the time it comes to 12.30 kick-off, it'll feel like a, a three o'clock one. Um, yeah, so that's, we'll have to uh, wait and see if some of them are early birds, and if they are, then great. <laughs> but, They'll, they'll, I think when you, when you kick off in those games, especially if you've stayed over, it's actually quite nice to have an early kick off and you're not hanging around. It just means we've got to do our, all our meetings and stuff earlier on the Saturday morning. Um, but you know, there's enough time to get it all in and, and 12.30 is a good time we can get away a bit earlier. <laughs>